Hey guys, today I have the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4 here with me and this device is simply sublime. It is a really good looking device. The Galaxy Z Fold 4 is the latest iteration of the folding device from Samsung. The Galaxy Z Fold 5 is coming shortly but the 4 is still a better device than any other folding device out there. The outer screen on this Z Fold 4 is a dynamic AMOLED. It is a very sharp screen. It is also a 120 Hz and it has a maximum peak brightness of 1200 nits. The thing that I like with the Z Fold 4 is its inner screen that you can unfold and have a bigger screen to play with. This device takes what has been done in the S line and take it further in the multitasking area. Since this is a folding device, folding and unfolding with one hand is very difficult. Once you're looking at the big screen, you can see the crease is still here. It is visible, but it is not obstructing you from doing anything. You can use this device and you will not notice the crease. It will become natural to see the crease and ignore it. By having a large folding screen, you can effortlessly switch between phone and tablet modes, allowing for a seamless multitasking every day and anywhere. To summarize, this device is a computer that you you have in your pocket. Most of the time when I go traveling and I am in a hotel room, I just bring my Z Fold 4 and I brought with me a portable display. The portable display paired with the Galaxy Z Fold 4 enables me to use the Samsung DeX. If you have a device that supports Samsung DeX, you can have full control of your device using this monitor and have a computer-like experience directly from your smartphone. Like I said in the beginning of this video, if you're using a Samsung device, Android, iPhone or iPad, you might have to plug the monitor in before you can use it. It is highly recommended to plug the monitor in because it will simultaneously charge the device that you're casting from. This is the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4. This device supports Samsung DeX, but you can find other Samsung devices that are way cheaper than the Galaxy Z Fold 4. And if I remember correctly, the Samsung S8 was the first device to support the Samsung DeX. You can see right now I'm using my Galaxy Z Fold 4 as normal. I'm doing anything that I want with my Galaxy Z Fold 4. I can even use the Galaxy Z Fold 4 as a trackpad in order to use the monitor and have a desktop-like scenario, a desktop-like experience while browsing the web or doing anything in this Android interface. Something that I do not like with the Z Fold 4 but does not impact anything that I do on this device is the gap between the screen. I truly believe Samsung already has the process and the technology by the time they were manufacturing the Z Fold 4 or by the time they were designing the Z Fold 4 to completely eliminate the gap between the folding screen. This was simply a lazy design choice. This Galaxy Z Fold 4 has 12 gigs of RAM and 512 gigabyte of memory. This device has simply everything to multitask without any other device and it has the software also that is optimized for you to have a better multitasking session compared to using your regular smartphone. And while I'm using it, frankly, I do not see the crease and if the area is a little bit dark, you will not see the crease unless you start to close the device or you simply want to position the device at a certain angle for your viewing experience. The inner screen the flexible screen is a dynamic AMOLED also. It has 401 ppi and it has also a refresh rate of 120 hertz. This being a device that is geared toward multitasking, it supports the S Pen and I do have a case that has a S Pen attached on the back. This is very convenient for using the S Pen anywhere, anytime and whenever you feel like you need to use your S Pen. And the best thing with this case is that you will not lose your S Pen if you put it somewhere and you forgot about it. The outer screen is 6.2 inch and it doesn't support the S Pen. The inner screen, the flexible screen is a 7.6 inch dynamic AMOLED display. Here you can virtually do everything that you can do in your S22 Ultra, S23 Ultra. The S23 Ultra has the S Pen. The S22 Ultra also has a S Pen. I did make a video tutorial about the S Pen on the S23 Ultra and I covered everything, literally everything that you can do 
with the S Pen on that device. You can watch that video in order to learn everything you can do with the S Pen and do the same on the Galaxy Z Fold 4. The Galaxy Z Fold 4 has a bigger screen. The folding screen is bigger and it lets you use multiple applications at the same time, at least more than the S23 Ultra. You can see here when I click on the button on the S Pen and hold it, I can simply erase what I had written on the screen. This is very convenient. The battery life on the Galaxy Z Fold 4 is impacted heavily with the bigger screen it has. Samsung made the Z Fold 4 with a 4400 mAh battery. The device is still capped at 25 watt charging and it can charge from 0 to 100% in about 1 hour and 15 minutes. The inner screen, the flexible screen is covering a camera that is 4 megapixel only. This camera is very useful for video conferencing, video chatting, but it is a camera that is more geared toward the functional side compared to the high quality high megapixel that we can find on traditional front facing cameras. The Z Fold 4 lets you use three applications at the same time that you can interact simultaneously but you can press the button on the S Pen and have access to some other applications that you can use floating around. The back of the Z Fold 4 has a triple camera setup. The main camera sensor is a 50 megapixel pixel binding to 12 megapixel by default. We have a 3x telephoto camera that is 10 megapixel and we have at last a ultra wide camera that is 12 megapixel. The cameras on the back of this device are standard quality for a Samsung high end smartphone. The cameras on the back of this Z Fold 4 always delivers whenever you need it. It is an excellent build quality overall for this device and it fixes most of the stuff that were wrong with the Galaxy Z Fold 3 and 2. Samsung made significant strides in improving the durability of its foldable devices and the Galaxy Z Fold 4 is no exception. The hinge mechanism feels sturdy and reliable, providing a seamless folding and unfolding experience that inspires confidence. To sum it up, the Galaxy Z Fold 4 is a true flagship device that pushes the boundaries of smartphone technology. With its stunning design, versatile multitasking abilities, capability, powerful performance, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, exceptional camera system, it offers an immersive and unique user experience. The Z Fold 4 showcases Samsung's commitment to innovation and solidify its position at the forefront of the folding, foldable smartphone revolution. The Galaxy Z Fold 4 is a better buy now because the prices have dropped tremendously. You can get this device below $1,000 and it was originally sold for around $1,799. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment box and I will see you in my next video.